what's up YouTube and welcome to the dark side and another episode so in this episode I'm probably going to be focusing a lot on quests and small other things because there's so many pleb quests I still haven't done and it also works towards barrows because you need a lot of quest points to get them barrows gloves uh, not barrows just the gloves uh, recipe for disaster and that's annoying me seeing that there and there's so many little pleb quests we haven't done and really important quests that we need to do as well so yeah we'll probably work on a lot of quests and a bit of leveling in the process okay so this should be the end of the quest the course it quest two quest points and um, basically unlocks this area and an interesting dungeon i'm going to show you it so I've never actually been down here, but I read on the wiki what is down here. And this is actually free to play. So this is uh, decent level stuff for free to play to be able to kill. I uh, don't want to die to these, but let's see what we can find down here. Okay, I believe I made a mistake. What I was going to show is this area here where it has baby dragons of every type. And it had green dragons and baby dragons. And I thought that was really OP for free to play. It's probably going to get botted to fuck. But it turns out they're obviously across this bridge. But it does look a hell of a lot nicer now. Now I see green every time I open this. All free to play quests complete once again. And there we go. We have finished making history. Unlocks the mini quest, which is Enchanted Key. Uh, we use this key. Probably not going to do it now, but we can do it in the future. Why in the hell have I not done this quest till now? But that's Tears of Gothic's done. Okay, so 75 tiers, which is not bad for the amount of quest points I have, as it does go off quest points. But my runecrafting level is pretty... Oh my god, we got a lot. It went from 24 to 27. So yeah, that was pretty damn nice. Unlocking Cosmics. Tribal Totem done. Free quest point. Free sort of fish. Don't know why I hadn't bought one up to this point, but I've just invested in a cannon. Alright, so uh, I look like a bit of a noob right now, but I did have overloads and they just run out. But there's 83, um, decided I was so close to the level, it wasn't worth leaving and getting more overloads. So yeah, I'm not a total noob. So we have finally finished Taibo Wanna quest. I did buy a load of Karen ones before and I was unable to cook them because I hadn't even finished this quest. Uh, but really handy to have that done. So with unlocking that quest and the ability to cook the Karen ones, I think it's probably a good time to do the Hasidious favor so I can unlock the cooking range and burn a lot less. So we haven't done that yet, so I'm going to get up to 20% and then they've unlocked a new quest, the Deaths of Despair, and you can do that at 20% as well. So we'll get that to 20%, do the quest, then knock it to 100. So we just finished out the 20% favor, let's go try out that newish quest. And here we have it, quest complete. So as you saw, we just finished the quest. You also unlock a teleport, you get this little bit of paper here and put it in that book. If you've lost the book, just chat with this guy and you get it back. And what the fuck, there we go. And that's how you use it, that's a weird animation. Uh, where else does it take you? Let's have a look. Uh, not very useful actually, I was hoping it would get me to sand crabs quicker, but yeah, not that great. Handy if you want to get there though, to do the cooking. So at my cooking level of 70, we are still burning, but we finished the 100%, so we can use this here. So what you do, you just use it and you hold down two, and you can actually do this like super fast, and it's actually ridiculous. Uh, but yes, unlock, this is the best place I can cook. See, we did burn two, um, but yeah, it's the best I can do with my level for now. Just missed the recording, but we just hit 71 cooking first level. This is so damn quick. Boom, 52. I just say 50, whoops. 73, 74, 75. And 66 farming. So doing a little bit of agility, just hit 55. Uh, notice I was quite close to 60 marks of grace, so I thought I might as well get that for the legs. And there is number 60. So 60 marks of grace, that means we can grab the legs. And yeah, a little bit plebish. I do need to finish this out sometime, but with work and that, you know, it's a bit of a grind. But we got the gloves in the bank, the cape and the legs. Long way to go till it's full. And scratch to this guy for getting 99 cooking right behind you. Or was it this guy? I'm not even sure. But anyway, here we go. 76, 77, 78, 79. And here we have 80. We can now cook shark. I can't remember an account I can actually cook shark on other than Darkscape. And we still had Karen ones left over. Enough to get us 81, not locking anything. You don't seem to unlock a lot at high cooking. Maybe they should add some more stuff in. Probably something other than fish. Why is it RuneScape is a fucking seafood diet? Like, when do you eat something that's not fish, really? 
So I just had to AFK while I was watching something, so I thought might as well fletch logs, you know, <laughs> why not? But uh, 73 flitching, 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 can now do onyx tipped room bolts. Crawling up for the last level. Oh, 56. Oh, I crawled out another one. Boom. Oh yeah. Don't know what it is, but lately I just can't stop cooking. I'm literally just watching some films and rather than usually I just don't play. I'm at least, you know, getting some XP while I'm doing it. 82, unlocking sea turtles. You can imagine the burn rate's pretty high, so we won't be cooking them just yet. And we're coming in with another cooking level. Man, I could easily get 99 in this skill. Couple of weeks of this shit. Easy. 83. And another level, 84. Can now cook anglerfish, pretty burn like 90%, but hey ho. Right, medium clue, coming in. 18k, rip. Alright, third pair of rangers coming in. Oh, that threw me off, the green bodies threw me off. I will one day get a clueless clue. Let's see what we get. How is that not worth money? Next casket coming in. Oh, we got a page, but the page ain't worth shit. Ripper Rooney. Two uniques, though. Medium 61 coming in. Cabbage Round Shield. Our next clue coming in. Lucky Shake. Wait, one of some actual value, finally. 347k. Right, let's see what we got. That's so bad. I just realised I've never actually been to this guy to get my lamps. I think you can use them as skills plus 20. Yes, you can. Result. Let's just bang these all in room crafting. Now, they're only 1k, but you know, it's fuck it, it's free XP at the end of the day. Can't really complain. And, oh, we actually got 30 room crafting off that. That was three levels. Nice. And total level 1,450. Just finished up the golem. Needs for uh, upgrade on the recipe for disaster gloves. And there we go. There is Shadow of the Storm. You thought the cooking games were over, didn't you, this video? But they're actually not over. We're waiting for the uh, kitten to grow. So I thought, why not cook while I wait? 85. Getting closer to 99 now. And we have finished it. And I did it all with the kitten. Only took 50 fucking minutes. Oh, I'm glad it's over. But yes, we can upgrade the gloves once again. Boom. A little bit of cooking XP as well. Nice. Two council members remaining. So this one I need to do Monkey Madness for, which I haven't done. And that one I believe I need to start Legends, but I haven't done Heroes. So them two are quite far away. Um, let's see what uh, gloves we are up to at the moment. If we go downstairs and take a look. I think we're on Adamant. I think Adamant are on par with the uh, bracelet. So they're actually worth using now. Because I have been using the combat bracelet. Yeah, Adamant. So I think these are about the same. Yeah, offensively the... Adamant gloves are just slightly better than the combat bracelet in a mage plus bonus and these are slightly more defensive but pretty much the same. Just when you thought you have seen all the cooking levels possible in one video, I'll just come back and surprise you with another one. 86, not unlocking shit. Oh, I am actually retarded. I just spent, I don't know, a good 30 minutes cleaning samples to get this bad boy and it just wasn't happening so I went to the bank I tried to make one I enchanted it it worked and I teleported here so I must have got it before but never actually did the teleport because it still wasn't achieved and I thought I could get it and oh my god what a waste of time um, but we're very close to finishing up the Varok Diaries only problem is we need to select kind of your kittens so that is a quest we need to do Pick a white tree, which is the same quest, and another quest. So we need to do two quests, and then we can finish it. I really want that GE teleport. It's so long having to run all that way every time. Nine times out of ten when you go to Varrett, or 99 times out of 100, you're going to the GE. So we do need to get this finished at some point. So I think that's a reasonable place to end the episode. Sorry if it's just been cooking simulator, but we have worked towards our goal of Barrow's Gloves. And, you know, we got a lot of quests to get through. There's just my to-do list on this account. It's just, it's just so big. And there's so many goals that I really want to get at the moment. Um, I'll list off some of them. So we got, like, Full Graceful is uh, obviously a good goal to get. I'm going to get that slowly, but no, Jilly is literally AIDS. 
Uh, mining 99 is the goal I've wanted from day one. We're like 100k from 88. Um, also, I want to get piety, but we got to do one small favor, which that I keep putting off, but I really need to get piety. Um, I need to get 69 magic so I can teleport to Zaya, the catacombs. Um, I also need to get the book. I don't think I've got the book yet for the uh, teleport as well. So that's why I've been putting off Slayer, really, because I've got a Bloodville task. Oh, and I also need to do them slug quests. Is it sea slug? So I can get the full like proselyte armor and stuff and wanted. I haven't even done recruitment drive. If you're wondering why I'm female, that's why I'm female. <laughs> I need to do recruitment drive. Um, need to finish up the Varrock Diaries for the um, teleport as well. I think I mentioned that a clip ago. Um, yeah, it's just so, the, my to-do list is massive. So we're just gonna be chipping away at that. I got a few more days off work. I'm currently on holiday, if you're wondering. Also, I'm very ill, um, so that's why I've been able to knock out two videos, but my voice sounds like shit. But anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later.